Yeah, I think when you look at every aspect of our game, um, there were definitely some positives um, in in every aspect. Um, from an attacking point of view, I think um, we we certainly put some good phases together. Um, the tries that we scored, um, uh, I, I think, showed that the guys have a really good understanding of what we're trying to achieve out there on the field. But um, uh, in saying that, there were some other passages that we weren't particularly happy with either. So it's about finding that consistency. Um, throughout the whole 80 minutes at this stage. It's devastating for RG. Um, he's come over here with a real purpose um, to be a part of this team. And uh, he's, he's missed out on that opportunity now, at least for the next however long the rehab takes. Um, so it's de devastating news for him, but it's also you know, upsetting for the rest of the team as well. We're really looking forward. He, he trained with us now for a good period of time, and we certainly saw how good the guy is. And um, we're all pretty devastated at this stage. We're definitely focused on obviously playing the game this weekend, um, finishing off this season as best we can. Um, and we've got you know a couple of young guys in the academies. If you look at uh, from a 5'8's perspective first, we've got Ben Healy, Jack Flannery and Jack Crowley who've been training with us now for the last couple of months. Um, and we have a lot of confidence in those guys. I, we, we certainly feel that they understand the system quite well, so quite comfortable um, putting those guys in if we need to. From a second row perspective, Tig's back, Tig Burns back, um, which gives us a little bit of depth there. Um, Billy's all good. Fanine's back as well. Fanine, which is back as well. So um, I think timely for those guys coming back in. We've also got some young academy players, Thomas O'Hearn, who's showing a lot of promise, um, and Paddy Kelly also. Um, both very good young prospects um, who we'd be very comfortable putting in the main team. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't change anything really. Um, it's very disappointing for Joey. First and foremost, um, I think we're all aware of that. Having more squad, having more people available in the squad is very, very, uh, it's the best thing for everyone. Um, so it's disappointing for him first and foremost, but I'm sure he's going to come back stronger. Um, in terms of me, it's just more of the same. That's my mentality, just more of the same and just continue on what I've been doing from last year. And um, there's plenty more lads um, coming up as well that are, are pushing hard and adding to the squad. So it's um, just more of the same. He definitely has all the attributes to go to the very, very top. Um, we always kind of joke. I know he's a small lad, but he's kind of um, a fellow that I think that uses that to his advantage with his with his speed, his uh, his pace of play. But he also has an incredible hard work ethic off the field. Um, he's probably one of the last guys leaving the training pitch every day. Um, and then that's good when he's young. But he probably needs to control that when he gets a bit older. But he's an incredibly hard working player, and along like the other nines as well, like they all work extremely hard together and they push each other on well. But um, in terms of Craig specifically, yeah, he was very good the weekend when he came on. Um, regarding the weekend, yeah, there was definitely a couple of opportunities we left. There was two clear cut opportunities that we left out there anyway that we didn't exploit or didn't take. Um, one of them we actually took later on in the move, and we we, we got a try off it, but we missed a few opportunities there, which is which is a positive um, that they're there. First of all, it's a negative that we missed them, obviously. But um, there's still definitely opportunities that we could have um, capitalised on that game, which is disappointing. But um, hopefully, we can set that right this week against the Connacht.